YouTube, what's up? It's Kiki Lee, and today I'm coming to you with a video. Um, this video is on how to get this nice, sleek ponytail with a middle part. I believe this is very Rihanna, very Kim Kardashian. So, this hair is Sensational's Body Wave. I got this wig off of Sam's Beauty. Um, this video is not sponsored, but I did pay for this wig. I believe this wig was under $35. I don't exactly remember the price because I did buy it back for prom season. I did wear this wig to prom as a side part. But as you can see, this wig is very versatile. Um, this is actually my first time wearing it in a sleek ponytail like this. And I think it held up really well. It did really good. And I really love this look. It looks very, very summertime ready. Um, when you're hot, but you don't want to wear your natural hair, you want to wear your wig, you still want to look popping. This is a great go to style, and it's very quick, very easy. The whole thing with keeping this hair to look nice and sleek is all how you prepare your hair under your wig. So, if you want to know how to get this look, so I'm just starting out with my natural curly hair, it's all kind of frizzy here because I don't. I just woke up, so that's why it looks like that. But I'm just spraying it with some water and brushing it out just to, you know, really make sure the water got through the first half of my hair at least. And then I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and take the tail of it and create a middle part. Use a, use a paddle brush so that you really get all your curls and make sure they're really nice and flat before you use your soft brush or your bristle brush. It does help a lot. This is my favorite Eco Styler Gel. I mean, they all work the same, but Eco Styler Gel really works wonders. And just make sure the front of your hair is very nice and sleek, especially the top part for this look. As you guys can see, I just keep going through with the paddle brush to make sure my hair is really flat. I'm taking a skin toned wig cap. If you do not have this nude shade, you can always take um, some powder that matches your skin tone to camouflage it. And I'm just taking my wig. I really do like this wig. It's lasted me about three and a half months now for being a synthetic wig. I haven't had any problems with it. It does not tangle and it does not shed. And it has two clips at the front, a clip on the bottom, and adjustable straps for your liking. I love to use this Dove Dry Shampoo. I feel like it leaves my wigs nice and refreshed after I take them out of the packaging. I just, I, so I'm going to be honest, they stink when I take them out of the packaging. So I like to do this instead of washing them all the time because they are synthetic. They're not human. So I don't like to wash them a lot. But I do, you know, I do wash them. But for the occasional use when I do wear a wig, I love to use some dry shampoo. So after I just, you know, take the scalp of it, not the scalp, I take the cap and I just, you know, rub it together and then I brush it out. And here I am just, you know, applying my wig. I match the part of the wig with my natural part and I just clip everything in place. I like to use styling foam. I know my natural hair, I love the way it works when I do finger waves or wrap my hair. And I believe, in my personal opinion, that it looks the best when I use the styling foam on a synthetic wig. Even when I'm just trying to lay down the, you know, the flyaways or the filler hair, the little hairs that might stick up just to make the hair look thicker. So, I just can't describe it. I know when you use product on a synthetic wig, it might leave like a film to it. And this gets the job done and does not do that. So I like to use the foam. I'm just going to take some edge control. Well, this is actually not even edge control. This is the Eco Styler gel that I use every basic on an everyday basis. 
I believe this leaves my edges the most laid, to be honest. I'd rather use Eco Styler Gel before I would even pick up Edge Control. I don't know why, I just think it lasts in all weather and it doesn't flake up or anything. So now I'm just taking some concealer and matching the part along with my natural part. I know that the wigs parting is just a slight bit bigger than mine, so I do take a black eyeshadow and I just, you know, kind of messed with it a little bit. I just went in in the center and tried to blend it as much as possible. And being that this is not full lace, I'm doing the best I can to make it look the most natural. I mean, it, it says front lace, but it's only, you know, a little, there's only about an inch going back of lace. So you can wear it, you know, out like that. It looks nice. I think it looks very classy, but I'm just going to throw it in a ponytail. It's very basic. I didn't even wrap hair on the ponytail. I just left it like that because it. I want it to look very sleek and just quick on the go. If you wanted to wrap your hair around to make it look more classy, be my guest. Go ahead. Just make sure to brush out the ponytail to make it look very neat. And then I took some more foam and did the same thing that I did to the top part. You guys can see this is the final look it looks very natural my mom said it was natural looking so that made me happy if she thinks it's natural it really does look like it so comment like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos i can't wait to share with you guys what's happening to me